Why, hello, Rich Evans. Hey, Mike. It's time for another Best of the Worst, and this time, no gimmicks, no wheels, no plinketto boards, just three good old-fashioned high-quality films, pre-selected ahead of time. Oh, how refreshing. I know. What's our first movie? Our first movie is called Hawk Jones. Hawk Jones features an entire cast of children playing zany adults with hilarious results. These pint-sized heroes play cops and robbers for real. Oh. Watch in amazement as our Hawk Jones gang actually drives cars, battles bad guys, and win the hearts of youngsters everywhere. Guaranteed side-splitting spunky action. Non-stop spunky action? What the fuck? What, what did you say? Why did the chicken cross the playground? To give to the other slide. Ha ha. Family entertainment, you'll watch again and again. Family entertainment. Rated R. <laughs> yes! Dead children! <laughs> we are less than four minutes in. First dead kid. Town bank robbed. I'm gonna sneak around the side of the mansion. You're going without me. You can't do that. It's too dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> can't go raiding into a man's house without Wouldn't it be great? This is all children, except for this character with Cameron Mitchell. <laughs> the only adult in the film. Well, why don't you tell us about our next movie, Mike? Winter Beast. The Evil Dead meets Northern Exposure. It's Winter Beast. Something strange is going on up in the mountains of a tiny winter resort community. Every time you turn around, innocent townsfolks are Towns folk. Just say people. I gotta get it exactly correct. Oh my god. Every time you turn around, innocent townsfolk are disappearing in increasing numbers. But this isn't just any mountain. This is the Indian burial ground of the Chakura tribe. Oh my oh god. Oh no! Those Indians always those damn, haunting people. Those, those damn Indians, what are they doing now? <laughs> Worse yet, this sleepy town's hills are infested with living totem poles, creatures of all shapes and sizes, and the legend of the Winter Beast. Oh my god. Fearless park ranger Sergeant Bill Whitman, played by Tim R. Morgan, <laughs> and his bumbling right-hand man, Stillman, are hot on the trail when one of their rangers returns from a scuffle with an unknown entity. Along the way, they come upon Sheldon, the owner of the nearby Wild Goose Lodge. Sounds amazing. It does. It sounds great. I, I, I can't. Did you hear something? No. Huh. Whoa! Oh, my God! My! Oh. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Yes! Nice. <laughs> Seamless. Yeah! yeah! More of that! Arr, More of that! <laughs> Thing looks like it's in constant pain. Oh, yes! 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 He did his own stunts. It's not bad. It's all right. Uh, well, roll down this hill. Oh, oh he's dead. Oh, dead. Oh. Well, that sure was something. Mm -hmm. Our next movie is, oh, our next movie is supposed to be Roar, but I, I can't find it. Huh. You looking for Roar? Got it right here. Oh my God, it's Hollywood celebrity Macaulay Culkin. Sure is. Hear the music of the children in the moonrise. Feel the power of the lion when he roars like fun. Okay, so all joking aside, let's watch this joke. Sounds fantastic. I've never seen Roar before. I was going to do the read, but I'm a Hollywood celebrity. I totally I understand. I pay people to do the read. So here's a quarter. Oh, oh, thank you, Mr. McCulkin. 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 <laughs> <laughs> McCulkin. <laughs> 
No animals were harmed in the making of this film. 70 cast and crew members were. And those are words I love hearing. Uh, the most dangerous movie ever made. Produced over the course of 10 years, Roar is an audacious cinematic experience. A thriller showcasing the majesty and ferocity of African lions. Filmed on location amidst dozens of untrained cats. That's actually, that's great. Yeah, that's, they sound uh, docile when they're cats. <laughs> by Jean Dubont, DP of Die Hard and director of Speed, the result is a spectacular achievement, though often terrifying to watch, as actors, not stuntmen, flee, wrestle, and come face to face with the massive hunters. Uh, that sounds great. Writer-director Noel Marshall stars as Hank, a doctor and outspoken naturalist in Africa who allows lions, tigers, cheetahs, and other big cats to roam freely around his remote estate. Sounds like a good idea. While away protecting animals from poachers, Hank's family, including Marshall's real-life wife and daughter, Tippi Hedren, the birds, and Melanie Griffith, working girl. We need to, you know, yeah, yeah, you need yeah, to know. That, that's, that's the one. <laughs> I thought they were going to go with milk money arrive at his home and are stalked by massive lions that have overrun the house. Not surprisingly, many of the cast and crew suffered injuries during the making of the film. I love how they promise it on the box. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Though care was taken to ensure that no animals were harmed. Since filming Roar, Hedron has become an advocate for the protection of big cats, founding the Roar Foundation and the Shambhala Preserve. Okay. Wow. There you go. You know what? You did such a good job. Here is my hotel room key. Oh, thank you so much, Mr. McCulkin. I'll see you later. Let's let's watch Roar. Wait, your hotel room key. Oh, I guess I have to. He's a Hollywood celebrity. <sighs> oh God. Oh God. Oh, so close. <laughs> oh my God. No! Oh, 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 it reminds me of a, you know, that time he was hitting me like over and over and over again, and it made me kind of reevaluate my entire life. Mm. We, mm -hmm. had, uh, Who was hitting you? Oh, it was Rich. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it was okay because I was just kind of I was like more, more, and he was like, I can't do it any harder. No, how'd, how'd you say it? I said my arm's getting sore. Yeah. Mm. Rich, you hit Mr. McCulkin. Yeah. Yeah. Don't yeah. you? No. I was asking for it. I'm Sean from Bunny Ears. <laughs> <laughs> they brought me here to spin a wheel and now I'm at a table with no wheel in sight. Anyway, back to this. You, you briefly appeared in, in a video before. They didn't. I didn't. Well, oh, you're, yeah, you're the in end. the screening. I room. was at the very end. Yeah. And, then you, when, you, when, and uh, you've said it on like, the watching. When yeah. Rich got murdered. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't get murdered. I just got seriously injured. Yeah, your, your nuts got murdered. Yeah, how are your balls, by the way? <laughs> They're great. Oh, my groin! <laughs> is, is this how all these episodes go? Uh, well, we, we, we do a little warm up. We sloppy, sloppily introduce things. Welcome to Best of the Worst. And then it gets worse. Yeah. <laughs> uh, on today's episode, classic. Regular episode, no gimmicks, three films. We have a beautiful lineup. Yeah. Uh, all I see are lions. Oh, well, are you hiding here? And I <laughs> uh, I just, this, I've forgotten about the first two films. This I, has been a roller coaster. Yeah. This is uh, like one of the, uh, an entirely different reaction for every movie. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yes. I just see everyone as children now. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> that would be a great mix, just children and lions. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, Sean, why don't you tell us about Hawk Jones? Sure. You seem to hate that one the most. I did. And then I'm gonna go to Rich for Winter Beast. No yeah. shit. Yeah. <laughs> no, no shit. Yeah, well, Hawk Jones. Uh, so Hawk Jones was um, a very confused movie. It's, it's 
essentially a, a send up of of seventies, I would say, era film noir and like Buddy detective Cop. noir. Uh, there is uh, a murder. What? I don't know. There, there was a crime wave going on. Yes. In this, yes. sure, okay, right. And then there was like a... a, a and Hawk girl. Jones, he's a new detective right. in town, who is, who is, who is precinct mates. Yes. Like to tease. Yes. What's the matter, Hawk? Gonna cry. And then he, he gets part, a partner and he's very upset. The bride, the name's McCallister Turkey. She has cooties. She yes. has cooties. Because yes. she has cooties. She has cooties. Do they say that? No, they don't. No, they don't, but it's, imp it's implied in the narrative. Keep your hand off my car, woman. <laughs> <laughs> you think you can even see them like under <laughs> the dashboard? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> It's probably the best structure, to be honest, oh, of yeah. everything. Oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. there's a point A, B, C, etc. I going. knew what was going on at every point during this film. Yes. Even though the sound wasn't great, you still knew what was going on. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It, it no, fills in all those cop cliches. It wasn't well acted and it didn't look pretty, but well, there they was were definitely five. it was a clear <laughs> beginning. What well, child doctors can be excellent. <laughs> Well, you know what? You well, know what? I had forgotten. It, it slipped my mind that I'm sitting next to famous child actor. Yeah, yeah. yeah how old were you when you did Uncle Buck? How dare you? How dare you forget? <laughs> I, I just thought you were some random how dare, asshole who how walked dare you, in. How dare you forget <laughs> Page Master? How dare you forget Getting Even With Dad? I mean, come on. How dare you? Yeah, those most famous films of yours. Yes. <laughs> I just like threw my buddy. <laughs> oh, God. It's sped up too, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. It's twice. <laughs> well, how do you feel about the sexualization of young girls that in this I didn't movie? Like. That I didn't like. No? That was another part where it got me, where it was like, where what they are pan you? up from the girls, like, from, like her legs. legs all the way up. I know you're doing the cliches, but yeah, let's let's pull back Wait. on this. Wait. We haven't gone out in such a long time. We can go to the nightclub. I said no, and I meant so square. I think it's a real gun. It's like yeah, <laughs> just took every piece out of it just in case. You just don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> it was the equivalent of like a like a you said John Benet Ramsey like a child yeah. beauty yeah. pageant. Yes. Yeah. Where they're, they're, she was singing like a like a jazzy song and there was guys with the hats in the background doing their thing and it wasn't like well there are certain things you can adultize. Yep. Childize. Yes. Yeah. Go I don't know what the fuck they were doing, whatever. but yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. And so it's like oh they go to a bar and there's they're, remember the googly eye scene and well, the that, kids that, are that, doing that. like the, these facial movements and no idea what they're doing. Yeah. <laughs> What? Mm. Oh no. No. <laughs> no. No. Stop it. We get it! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is going on? They, they took it just far enough yeah. to where they knew what line was too far to cross, and we desperately wanted them to cross that line <laughs> for our own entertainment. Did we though? Not, the, Not the, sexualization. the sexualization part, but the violence. We wanted yes. more yes. violence. It we wanted them to go over the top. Yes, it's either you go really, really silly with it, right. like you know, like yeah, with the milk kind of thing, the, the, the chalk outline. Yeah, like the, yes, exactly. The chalk outline was a stick figure, like yes, you know, like that's the, exactly like, that's cute. So or you, you lean the other or, way, or, or like you know, the, yeah, the, their guns are squirt guns or Nerf guns, like yep. yes. Or you go the whole way where it's yeah. kind of just like they're using real guns. Like, their brains get splattered on the fucking walls. Exists. Yes. <laughs> Oh, is he being yeah, shot? I, I guess he's shot. I guess that's what He looked happened. like he won a prize. Yeah! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it doesn't know whether it's an 80s cop movie or whether or not it's a noir detective yep. 1950s film. What I'd say is Hawk Jones is timeless, in a way, <laughs> is what you're trying to say? I think it wanted to be a noir thing, 
but they just didn't want to go full noir with the sets and the cars and the time. That period. would be hard I, to do. I would have loved a voiceover. It's like, oh, you know, like. July 1986. It's 1980 yeah. 50. Yeah. They should do it. They should do it. This dame walked into my office. I knew she was trouble the second she walked in. Like, you know, like that kind of thing. They yeah. should do a prequel. Mm. But it's adults playing child Hawk Jones. <laughs> no, I want to see a prequel that's like a science fiction movie where a science experiment turns everyone into children. Yeah. Well, explain Ooh, how this world came like to be. That. Yeah. It's like that episode of Star Trek. Rascals. <laughs> I beat you to it. <laughs> Does, is Q responsible for that? No, no it's, it's a transporter. transporter accident. Oh, classic. <laughs> what a classic. Basically, basically, everybody in Star Trek could have like eternal youth if they want. They could all live fucking forever. That's what I mean. Though. But they, 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 they ignore this this technology. It's the same thing with Riker. Like, there's two Rikers now. It's like, they don't want to clone themselves now with that thing. They don't want to turn themselves young forever. Picard was like, I, 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 I could start my whole life over at 15 with, with my current brain, or I could turn into an elderly bald man. <laughs> so Hawk Jones. Kid with the pipe, old lady. It had a little old lady. <laughs> it was adorable. Who was the youngest child in the movie? Yes, the youngest just person with in the a gray movie. Wig was, on. was played the oldest, and she was the most disinterested in being there. <laughs> oh god. Oh my god. <laughs> Are they gonna like blow her face off? <laughs> <laughs> they even gave her a cane, but then the scene where she's like running out of the store, she's just like she's holding just it, it and just like <laughs> running. <laughs> she's just like. Yes. <laughs> I need your badge. Kids with mustaches are great. <laughs> oh shit! I was out, but they hooked me. That's the police chief. Elka <laughs> 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 Seltzer. Seltzer. Oh it's not quite Tums, but. You're on thin ice. You're on thin ice. What? This is space cop. You want thin ice with this department? You're on thin ice. I'd like you to meet your new partner. You have a partner. A partner. I need a Tums. Also, the chief was great because he had a mustache. Yeah. yeah. And I will say, I did count, there was four child mustaches in this movie, and each time it was hilarious. It was amazing. Each time. Yeah. Children and mustaches is a must. I'm afraid I'm gonna have to act cutely, otherwise I'll have to call the cops. So they bring it they bring in pretty much their Terminator character who's covered in chains for, for kind of no reason at the beginning, or his legs are, and he is terrible at his job. Yeah. They do nothing to set hey, up that he's pretty good for be... a seven-year-old. Oh, 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 no! no. He's gonna get crushed by the boxes. <laughs> he failed the assassination <laughs> attempt in the box factory, remember? Yes. <laughs> he pushed a bunch of empty boxes on, on Hawk Jones. And what were in the boxes? Nothing. More boxes. Oh. Well, Hawk Jones tried to stand on an empty box. And he just fell into it. He fell it's inside true. it. He tries to like climb up to get out of the window and he just falls right in. Help me, help me! Help me. My favorite character, yeah. you gotta say, uh, was Point Dexter. Uh, he was adorable, even when he was being tough. He was adorable. And I think my favorite part of the whole movie is his death scene. Yes! <laughs> yes! Yeah! Bravo, kids! <laughs> oh, man, man. He gets shot a million billion times, and it's, it is my favorite. He's gonna that, jumps that, up and down. That and the ex-wife joke. What's been our biggest problem? My ex-wife. What, what, real quick, when the mob boss kid, what was his name, Corleone, something. Yes. Mob boss kid. Mob yeah. boss kid. Mob when he, when boss he kid. was talking, he was so bad. It, it kind of reminded me of uh, Temple of Doom, when they had the when they had the Indian like yeah. like shaman character yep. who who spoke no English. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Read all of his dialogue like phonetically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you will go to Pankot Palace. 
to find Shivalinga and bring back to us. And it's like you can tell, like, he doesn't know what the fuck he's saying. Yep. That's how that kid talked. This, my friends, is a copper stopper. And he cut within a hundred yards is dead me. You're gonna help me now, Hawk Jones. <laughs> I think that kid just got bored. Oh, there was that one line. Yes, yeah. by the end. Yeah. You could see, it's just like, didn't want to be there anymore. I want those to waste it. And if you let them get away. Dang, you know what? You should have said hello to my little friend. That would have been, that would have been, that right. been us in. And, and it would have been a teddy bear. I mean, that's hey. perfect. That's impossible. Does this predate Scarface? Uh. Um, no, 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 no. no. This does predate Home Alone. It does. And there's a character named McAllister. Yes. And this is fucking weird. The name's McAllister, turkey. <laughs> we never brought, brought up that. So this is where John Hughes stole most yes. of his ideas from. <laughs> Pretty much. For all his scripts. Yeah. McAllister, get in here. Yeah. yeah. You, you saw him watching this, like, in secret. Mm -hmm. like, oh, yeah. That's yeah. good, that's good. Um, McAllister was the girl's name, though. That was the partner's name. Yeah, that was the partner's name, name. yeah. Yeah, I'm very name. versatile. It's true. Yeah, it's true. Come on, jerk it's true. off. true, you do play an excellent <laughs> tiny black girl. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> oh my god, yes, he's got Han Humphrey Solo's gun. Yeah, he's got Han Solo's blaster. And grenades. Yeah, Hawk Jones! <laughs> yes, Rambo is. It's, it's, it's gonna blow up. It's gonna blow up. Yes! Oh, no. Love the kid. So they needed to feel like the movie. They needed to at the start of this. They didn't have one conversation where it was like, are all of the kids playing adults, and we just everything else is played straight? They're adults in an adult world, and we never reference that they're children. Or is this like a children's family movie, winky winky, like, and then they pull out a laser gun for the gun battle instead of like, you know. And they never had that and, conversation. No, no, they did. And you know what the answer was? <laughs> <laughs> I would say they were going more for the latter, considering yeah. that it was PG and yeah. there wasn't the violence was mostly cartoony. Yeah. Uh, he threw a, he throws a grenade into a bathroom stall. <laughs> oh, that's not how that works. Yes. <laughs> oh boy. That's not how any of that works. <laughs> Oh, it should be blowed up. Right. But it wasn't Looney Tune enough. No, yeah. Like it should have been. Like yeah, you should have had smoke. The, you know, Looney Tunes. The violence guy should have been, been covered in. Yeah. The kid should have been mm -hmm. covered in soot right. or something. Yeah. Like you know, right. And the air on the mouth. The he should have had smoke come out of his ears. And then you go like, okay. And nobody's so gonna argue that Hawk Jones couldn't have been done better. <laughs> yes. They just kept it in. They just kept it in. They absolutely kept that in. Let's talk about Winter Beast. <laughs> uh, Winter Beast was great. great. Um, Rich, you loved Winter Beast, so you're going to talk about it. I want to know the. Don't, don't do your pass, passive thing where you just go, eh, it was a movie that about a thing that sucked. Eh. Tell us in detail everything that happened. I don't know. Happened in Winter Beast. I saw Winter Beast, and I just to see. It. Let's look. You know, you know. I, there's I, there's three main characters. Yep. There, there, there's. <laughs> yeah. What are their names? <laughs> you can do it. You can do it. Oh, we'll God. There's, there's a there's 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 cop. There's Ginger where, Cop. Where does it take place? Ginger Mustache. First of all, let's start location. It takes place in the forest during the winter. <laughs> no, no, wrong. <laughs> Small town in Massachusetts. Yes. Oh and God. specifically, a lodge. Uh, it takes place yeah. mostly in and around a lodge. Who's in a doing small this? Hey, let him, let, 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 let's <laughs> man talk. Who is doing this? Talk. Location, character, story, yeah. go. Oh God! All right. Well, there's, <laughs> there, there, there is a lodge, and there's a man in a plaid suit who runs the lodge. And so anyway, he says to me, "You think that's bad? Her sister is twice as bad." <laughs> Okay. Ginger cop. Uh, no, there's G ginger mustache. Ginger mustache. There's a couple of girls. Sunglasses. Yeah, no, um, Shades. Shades. Shades was the main character, Dang. right? Does he not retain any information? He didn't watch this movie at all. Do you want to? <laughs> do you want to do it, Mike? I mean, like you can do Roar, right? Sure. I'll do whatever. Lions. That's Roar. I just did it for you, but Mac, you do Winter Beast. Okay. Because you remember things that happen. Ask me to do it. 
Do Winter Beast. Who, me? Yeah. Oh, okay. Rich, uh, can you read this for me? <laughs> All right, Winter Beast. Yeah. There, there is a lodge, and it's winter. No, it's no winter. It's, well, it's not winter. It's, it's mostly summer. It's mostly it's, like spring, fall. But I think maybe. it's supposed to be winter because yeah. it's sweet. Oh, it's fall. Again? I thought it was winter. Yeah, this is fall of next year. Of the it's, next fall, it's fall, it's winter, fall, whatever. Beast. Fuck you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. maybe the beast just comes out in winter. No. <laughs> Are you all right? Yeah. Oh! Yes. What? <laughs> oh. What the fuck? Oh. Is that in the... What? Yes! Uh, <laughs> is this gonna be a movie in the movie? Oh, maybe. I'm gonna say no. Yeah, I'm gonna go with no also. No. It's so bad. No, this is gonna be... What's happening? What the fuck? This is... Oh. Uh, okay. Why, Boy, though? Zone skin out. He's gonna eat it. We edited the reels out of order. It's his reel six. <laughs> oh, that's a dream. Oh, that's a dream. Dream close. Close yeah. enough. Yeah. Wow. No, there's a, there's, a, there's a lodge, and there's some monsters that keep killing people uh, randomly. <laughs> Stop motion monsters pop up, they kill people, and there's a cop who's concerned about this, and the guy who owns the lodge isn't. And it turns out the guy who owns the lodge wants the people killed because of some kind of ritual. Well, he's the... He's, he's the, the Jaws mayor. He's the mayor of the lodge. <laughs> hey, I'm just trying to make conversation here. Well, you're sure doing a shitty job. Oh, yeah. oh my god! Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ! What? Yes, 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 yes! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. The, the, the lattice work, the lattice work. Who's that guy? What's going on here? Who's telling you? <laughs> Good question. And, what and, what and, just happened? And, and, scene. and I don't know what happened because I don't know what happened. You have like the descriptive powers of like a four year old. <laughs> you realize that, right? Like the little girl telling about what Star Wars is about. The sound people capture robots and drive and sell them. A garage sale, kind of like garage sale, but except they're selling robots. Uh, you can tell this was shot over a long period of time because the hair is uh, different lengths as we go along. And a lot of the characters' costumes would change in shots too. Oh yeah, like, no, we'll, we'll have, get like, to that. A we'll flannel, get to that. no flannel, in we'll, the same we'll, scene. We'll get to that. We'll I think every that. character wore that red flannel. <laughs> So then uh, Groot uh, attacks a lady. Ah! Yes, Groot! Great, great, great Groot. Groot! I am Groot! It's what? Groot. Ray Harryhausen, eat your heart out. Not for winter, Beast. <laughs> Just need to get up and take a top off because it was time. Groot, honey, is that off. you? It's time. So here's the scene. You're gonna take your top off and then get attacked by a tree monster. <laughs> okay. okay. All right. <laughs> and then I'll be famous. <laughs> sure. Sure. Yes. <laughs> um, there's stop motion uh, 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 things that happen. Mm -hmm. they, people get yeah, killed. It's very uh, uh, Penny from uh, Pee Wee's Playhouse. If, if you're such a fucking expert, why is there suddenly a zombie in the fucking movie? <laughs> why does a zombie come out of a grave? And why is the grave sitting there just in the middle of the woods? Yes! Oh my god! What? Yes. Wait, what? Oh. Wait! Shut up and watch! <laughs> <laughs> Got a zombie mummy? This is fucking awesome! Yeah, yeah, what's what? gonna happen? What? No one knows. What is happening? That's... Exactly! <laughs> it's oh. the Reverend! The grave of the Reverend, yes. that's all I could... Yeah. What Reverend? It was on the tombstone. But, but who's the Reverend? Exactly! What do you mean the fucking Reverend <laughs> in the town, man? She was <laughs> opening his grave up for no oh. reason. Oh, yeah! Oh. 
Oh, oh she got chocolate syrup all over. The next morning. This is a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> I can, I, I can answer these questions yeah, real quickly. Please, um, please, because I'm running out of gas over here. The, the, <laughs> the Native Americans Thank you. Uh -huh. were mad. Yes. Go on. Uh, because of atrocities, probably. Uh, and, and it was their burial ground. Uh -huh. So the, the magic in the ground caused all these things to happen. Stop motion creatures. The, the, it was a, the grave of the reverend to come back to life. All these things. I think at some point, I could be wrong, but I remember hearing... From the, the wacky mayor, who's featured on the back of the box. Oh, We're yeah, call him the mayor. turn that around, yeah. Um, I want to say that there was a Cabin in the Woods-esque plot. Yes. Where he said something like, I got to keep the uh, uh, generations, yes. my two forefathers, yeah. where we, we keep no, the beast. You're, you're, saying, you're saying it wrong. Something is happening up on that mountain. I'm telling you for the last time to close this lodge. Your guests are in danger. You have no authority over me or my business. This lodge is on private property, property that's been in my family for years, and you have no jurisdiction here. Every couple of years, I've got to get a different person up onto this mountain, and I've got to kill them. It's not a big deal. And then I put on my clown mask, <laughs> and I dance around all the corpses, and I do a little twirl. It's literally and then the what happened. The mountain is safe. Is that an essential <laughs> part of the ritual to dance around? Absolutely. It's an essential part of the ritual. How many rituals you've seen don't have a nice little dancing around part? <laughs> they all have it. Where? What movie were you watching? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're, we're checked out. Mentally. After this is over, we're all going to put on our clown masks and do a little dance together. Oh, you've been listening to the local creeps, old Indian tales. Whitman, they're bullshitting you. Don't be a fool. I just want this guy to yell at me. Yeah, me too. Oh, shut up. Stop making fun of my movies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, big deal. You saw the winter beast. <laughs> big fucking deal. Who are you anyway? I should say, it's not, it's not, he's not the best because it's not. He's charisma. It's not because it's the effeminate, like, like that's not what made, like, because that could have easily have just been, like, insulting and kind of, like, no, always No, it wasn't trying. a caricature. No, it was that no. he had that a... That was him. Yes, that was him. That was he actor. was the only person in the whole movie that brought any kind of, like, character charisma. or charisma yeah. or, or anything to the role. Everyone was just like... Hey, Are you sure you don't, you don't prefer... <laughs> I am the hero. Everybody, yeah. Yes. Everybody Go else out is to the around. woods and look at the thing. I have mustache where on my to, face. Where do you want me to go? Rich, you're doing too much emotion. Oh! Yeah, quit emoting so Oh my much, god. Bro. I, gotta, I gotta get like more static too. <laughs> Your last couple of years I've been living in Boston. Yeah? It's funny you mention that though, because uh, I actually do have a friend uh, from uh, quite a few years ago who's moved up here. I've been meaning to look him up, just haven't had the chance. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you have tracking well, problems? Well, but... well, it's, it's, it's like this. It's like, it's like, oh. No, the, the mayor was a lovely man. We need man. to cast a man who has tracking problems. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I'm shocked that he wasn't in more it film. Was, it was, and more films. It's very disappointing. This I, is the I only thing to... he was in. We looked him up. For whatever reason, he hasn't noticed him standing there watching him yet. <laughs> right? And like at a certain point, you're you're like rolling the dice by not leaving. As soon as you see the man dancing, petting corpses. <laughs> <laughs> that was actually the, the, that was the like, most chilling part. It was the most cinematic part yeah, of the entire movie. Was. Like, yeah, the but, rest of the movie is not a movie, really. Well, but then even that though, it's like you go, "Ooh, this is like a really weird, like creepy scene," and then a character walks in, and it's supposed to be a moment where he like he's like. Shit, this guy's being like really weird. But instead, he's just standing in the doorway, watching this guy, and then he doesn't move or do anything, and it goes on for like a really long time. And he's holding a head. And he's holding a head in his hand <laughs> because he had found the head and was trying to sneak back out of the lodge. He never he, found it. But then he. Well, he never actually found it. Found it though. Like oh. he just is carrying it. Oh. <laughs> oh, that was diegetic. Didn't you? <laughs> Why do you need to <laughs> do that when the door's open? Uh, they were broken already, though. <laughs> there was multiple takes. Fight. Yeah, multiple. And he was, oh. as he knocked it in, the door went in. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't. But also, he didn't even unlock it. No, he just was... broke, broke the window and then opened the door. This is like, the worst. fuck your windows. Why is he holding a head? Oh. 
Why is anything? <laughs> Literally Why? anything. Why Winter Beast? I know who saw this film a long time ago. Justin Timberlake and Andy Sandberg. Because there was a dick in a box. There was a dick, there in, was a box. A dick in a box. <laughs> and that's where they got the idea. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about the dick in a box. Where'd this come from? Well. <laughs> <laughs> it's a dick. It's a dick. It is a, it's a dick. Is this supposed to be a dick? So the box the thing was, that just happened to be in yes, the box. Because the, the important thing yes, in the box was, the was next to the dick. Yes. But they never actually addressed no. the dick. <laughs> they don't. He's like, there's this box, and it has this one sacred artifact, and he opens the box, and there's two things. Clearly a dick. No, there's a clear dick, and there's other stuff. Yeah. <laughs> and then he goes, like, reaches in, and you're like, oh, he's going to pick that dick up right now and talk about it. And then he goes... Anyway, this tooth is well, very well, important. <laughs> but he also gives him say, he's like, this is my father. It's like, you've been yeah. saving this for a while. And, just, <laughs> and you see his hand go past the dick yeah. and go towards the thing yeah. in the dark that you can't see. Yep. It, it could just be the tooth from any large animal. Or no, yeah, what about the giant <laughs> dick that's next to it? <laughs> Wait, he's like, like that, you cared about that tooth? Oh yeah, that's the unrelated. I'm showing you the tooth. This is my father's dick. <laughs> Why is she? Well, no, but the only person who knows what's going <laughs> on is dead. She's just sitting there. She, Dude, what is she doing here? <laughs> she's she's like at the table behind them. What is she them. doing there? Like really flat focus. Who was she? She was just there. Was she was just sitting there. Oh, this is the worst thing I've ever it's, seen. It's a waitress on break. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're giving somebody I'm fucking a dick. lucky. Don't tell me where to go. <laughs> Holy shit. I want to be in your fucking movie if I want to. married to Excuse me, ma'am. Do you mind if we film at your table for a moment? <laughs> <laughs> I, know you're, I know you're trying to eat. Just, just wait. wait. We just gotta get one shot. Right. Well, my one critique of the film. <laughs> Your one my, critique? Yeah. My one critique of the film is that I couldn't hear or understand <laughs> anything that was happening. I thought it was a fantastic movie. It my is. one problem was that I didn't realize at the end. I couldn't hear or understand. I didn't realize at the end that they were fighting a giant. Like somebody spliced together footage from like eight different movies that yes. were only like 15% completed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is, it's literally, it's so hard to tell geography of anything because like. Oh, now it's winter again. Oh, it's in the other half. Wait, what? And also, he's wearing, he's, a completely completely different and he's wearing a completely different outfit too. <laughs> oh my god, this uh -oh. is the worst thing ever. This is another more sense than this. It took all of us a really long time to be like, well, oh wait, shooting he's up. giant. Yeah. Um, there, there was that one shot that was- some forced was, perspective. Yeah, yeah. the yeah. forced yeah. perspective well, shot. Well, wasn't bad. The dick necklace. Oh. The, the, the two, oh, the dick look, box. it's in the same shot. Oh go. my god. Is How? This is a fucking miracle. Yeah, it's How? a perspective thing. Yeah. No, I think he's on stilts. He's, yeah, there oh, he's on stilts. stilts. That's why he's moving like that, yeah. Arr. It's still actually, no, his arms look bigger though, and longer. This is one of the most difficult things I've ever had to do. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, or, or, or my, my favorite character, Shades. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, um, he's talking with with Ginger Stash. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, Dud Company like walks right in front, just like just walks, eclipses him with the camera, and just stands there and just like, and he just waits for like Stash to walk up to him. They talk, and then he like Dud Company leaves, and Shades is still there. Can we talk about just how oddly that entire fucking shot is framed? We have three characters talking to each other, yep. and the shot is framed so that all three characters are on the far right fifth of the screen, yep. standing in a row, standing stacked in front of one another. Rich, it's the rule of thirds. <laughs> one third your characters <laughs> overlapping each other. <laughs> Two thirds a plant. <laughs> Tree. Wild Goose Lodge. Yeah, and that then Wild Goose important. Lodge is, is in it, the back. It was a three wolf moon shot. <laughs> That's what it was. <laughs> there is a weird thing in this movie where it seemed like a lot of the sets were like half of a wall. Yeah. And oh, so both cool. actors are like, there's that one scene where the where the guy and the girl are talking and he's like I saw that. He's like this close to her <laughs> talking like, right in her face. You just spilled beer all over yourself. I, a little bit went right up right. No, my, no, just not all over. My crotch it's glare, like, yeah. No, it's fine. I hope nobody saw it. It's fine. I saw but it. You saw it. <laughs> uh, I called you out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jay, Jay, can you edit that out? Could, could you, could you? 
<laughs> Just don't do that in slow motion and zoom it in. As the beer drips uh, right down my pants. It's too late, I missed it. I'm live editing. Yep. <laughs> oh, and it's, it's uh, uploading yeah, live. The <laughs> I mean, the stories I've heard about Chakora Mountain have been around as long as I can remember. Stories? What are you talking about? Why are they so close to each other? Because <laughs> <laughs> they have one mic. Weird. Really Jay, there's only one microphone there. Uh, yeah, they're practically chest to chest. he's just like staring at her. This is bizarre. He's waiting. He's waiting. He's like, when is it my turn to talk? Yeah, yeah. it is. <laughs> he changes well, heights. He changes heights in every shot. Yep. That cop. <laughs> changing heights. <laughs> it's it's very, and the background changes. Yep. Yeah, that was one of like the two times in the movie they did like well, shot, I, reverse shot for a discussion. And every time they did it, I could feel the director of photography's pain. He like didn't like doing that. That movie, that movie used coverage more sparingly than I've ever seen a movie no, use no coverage. Shit. It's static, two shots, you get your master, Mostly, and yeah, that's it. I mean, I think that was why we actually wanted to turn this off in like the first 15 minutes, really, because it, it makes it clerks just, look like masterful filmmaking. Yes, oh yes, 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 yes. <laughs> no. which is no, also mostly fair. just two shots. But no, it's no like close-ups, nuance, and like yeah, like yeah. I mean, just even the inserts like were kind of just. So you can see that they were done later to kind of like so they can kind of cut between mm -hmm. take one and take two because there was definitely not a take three done in this movie yep. no. at all. <laughs> yeah. Well, under the circumstances, I don't think you have any choice. Shut down your lodge and the trails, and then that way we can conduct an, a safe, extensive search of the area without any more alarm. Yeah. Good enough. There we go, all right. <laughs> Cut, print. <laughs> <laughs> One take, Sergeant. Strap. <laughs> Strap on uh, Ginger's dash. Well, there's I, a one scene where the power goes out, and it's like the most basic thing ever. They just, they just jump cut from lit scene to blue, and they could have just shown, like filmed a light bulb just turning off. Yeah. Boom, done. That's, that's your bridge. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down, cowboy. <laughs> Slow down, Orson Welles. Yeah. Yeah. What are you doing? Oh, look at fancy Mr. Hollywood oh, here. Yeah. Turn oh. off the light bulb, Oh, Mr. Says. Tarantino, tell me more. Shoot your movie with cameras or whatever. Oh, lights and things? Oh, Jesus Christ. Like, that's, what do you know? I got so many ideas. <laughs> that's you not get, how we do things you here. You and your fancy ideas. This is not what we get do here. Just in get out of you get out of Massachusetts. <laughs> yeah, we don't here do in Massachusetts, we put the camera down, and it stays there, God damn it. This is not how we do it in the Berkshires, all right? Get the fuck out of here, asshole. I'm supposed Microphone! <laughs> Microphone! <laughs> oh, I'm from LA. Ooh. I've got a microphone. Oh, Mr. Winnerbeast guy. <laughs> what the fuck? Like the shots, sure. Go socks. Like, like I'm some kind of god. <laughs> Can just snap lights on and off or something. The sun's gonna rise out my ass. Now get over into that field and let's finish shooting this movie. Yeah. That's why your kids have poor ears. <laughs> they gotta listen. They gotta, they gotta, they don't have to, they don't have to, they don't have to listen like we do in Massachusetts. Our kids have to, have to filter out 70% static before they can hear what somebody's saying in our movies. It makes their ears better. Rich, do you hate all those scummy people from the East Coast? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, dude. They're scumbags. Oh, oh, oh. All of those people, they're the scumbags. The Eastern Seaboard, it's just a bunch of scumbags. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes! oh, I wanted more. We all did. <laughs> what, ha what happened to the chicken monster? Yep. Where did the chicken monster him. go? They defeated him when they defeated the uh, totem. They did? When they knocked that totem down, they killed all the monsters. Yeah, what movie were you watching? I don't know! No, I'm just kidding. I, it was just... <laughs> I honestly, know. it was just, it just went, it just went away. They thought we'd forget. You missed the 21 other movies that came before Winter Beast <laughs> that sort of set up all the events of Summer Winter Beast. Beast. Oh Fall Beast. Yeah. <laughs> September <laughs> Beast. You better start paying attention to these films or you're off the show. Yes. Wow. <laughs> got it? Quintanilla wow. yeah, Beast. Yeah. Well, fine, I'm gone then. Fuck it. Fuck it. Get lost. Get fuck, get lost. fuck you. Fuck Winter Beast. <laughs> Uh, oh, thank God. Do we all move down one, or how does this work now? Well. <laughs> 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 oh, right. What? Uh? Roar. Roar. <laughs> <laughs> Roar. 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 Uh, Rich? That's the whole review. Oh, yeah, Rich, tell us all about Roar. Oh, yes, yes. Uh, I'm Rich Evans, and I'll tell you all about Roar. Um, 
The Rower is a movie about a guy and his family, and he wants to reunite with his family in Africa. And the main thing is that his house is infested with lions. Well, are you hiding here? The, the plot of this movie is extremely simple, is that he is going to go pick up his family from the airport, but his family already made it to the house, and oh shit, lions are at the house. Those can't be dead, look. Oh my god! Like, uh, super nice. Is there fault? Is there fault for opening the door? That's a fucking zebra head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, no, it's like a zebra leg. Ah! I think that's close the door and go back to sleep. Yeah. I don't want to make it seem like the lions randomly appear once the family gets there. No, 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 no. The lions are there, and the protagonist is there, and he's worried about his family getting there and discovering that the lions are there before he gets there, which they do. Oh no! Oh no! No, you're gonna get stuck in that fridge. Wait, no, don't break the eggs. No, Punky Brewster said not to! Uh, <laughs> yeah. Hello, it's me from the other film! <laughs> now I'm playing a lion! <laughs> also, I need to correct you, it's also not just lions. What else is there? Tigers. What else? Elephants. What else? Giraffes. Leopards. Leopards. Panthers. Jaguars. 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 Yeah, cougars. But the best cougar in the whole movie was Tippi Hedren. <laughs> Real lions, tigers, elephants. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, giraffe. And they uh, emphasize jaguars. that they're not trained also. Not trained. Yes. At all. These are <laughs> real animals that have director and writer credits because they are completely improvising. Of course they are. They take over yeah. the production. I'm sure the DGA... Because someone DGA got fucking cute, let's really be cool. honest. I'm just gonna say, like, they got through the couple, first couple of classes at Second City and they're like, we get it. Yeah, yeah, they were really good at improv. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The DGA and the, the WGA had nothing to do with this. No. The no. MGM did. I don't movie. know about DGA rules on that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I heard about this thing. Like, yeah. They put the zebra, like the, well, the lines are in the writing credit? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So. Tell, tell that lion it didn't write the movie. Uh, and the actors are trying to get across the, 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 the barest of a plot. Thinnest. The, barely anything, but there are lines. And you gotta watch out for beer, okay? <laughs> Somebody come in to help him. There's no help. What the said, fuck are you gonna do? <laughs> just right in the middle Nothing. of the line. Just run, <laughs> run the other way. Like, yeah. <laughs> the animal handle is like, no, I'm. You thank goodness for the distraction. <laughs> you get exactly. out of there. Yeah. The backstory is is 150 million times more interesting than the real story Absolutely. of the movie. Absolutely. And you're saying Noel Marshall, yes. the crazy. Will Ferrell looking guy. <laughs> Super who energetic. He, in real life, he loves lions. Yes. He has a lot, and his wife. He and Tippi Hedren. Yeah. Tippi Hedren was famous from The Birds. Mm -hmm. So he, uh, Tippi Hedren, uh, and Noel Marshall. Noel Marshall was a producer. He produced uh, The Exorcists, mm -hmm. and they made a ton of money and were had a had a nature preserve. Specifically for large cats well, in California. Well, actually, in California. What happens was they started raising the lions on their property, like yes. in like Beverly Hills, and yeah. then, then like the sheriff was like, "No, cut that shit out." <laughs> like, hey, so, so you, have you to, should like, not have lions in uh, fucking Beverly so, Hills. So they started boarding them at like a you know like at a, like you know a, a reserve or whatever, and then they realized they were paying more for the animals than they could have for the mortgage, so they bought the nature reserve, mm. and they sold their house in Beverly Hills. Bought some, bought some trailers, and then moved to the nature reserve so they could make this movie. 
I gotta go help your uncle. Run. Ah. <laughs> Don't run. <laughs> Do it. Do it. Ah. <laughs> he runs, they think he's playing, and they freak out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And they just jump on him. Oh. No! no. no. <laughs> ah! Yes! <laughs> this guy's oh, insane. Yeah. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> don't! Don't do that! You're getting it worked up! Uh, you're making it worse! Uh, you're making it worse! <laughs> <laughs> you just, ah, no! Jesus Christ! Oh, fuck! Get <laughs> Put aside the fact that this was a nerve-wracking experience. I don't like to watch people get hurt. I was just worried the whole time. Even though I knew no one died, I was still like, I, I like, I didn't like it. But put that aside, it felt like, it felt like what it was, which was like some rich dude who's like, I'm gonna buy lions because I love lions now. And then he like has a bunch of fucking lions and he's like, I'm gonna make a movie with the lions. And then there was like no script and no fucking ideas. And then let's say like, the movie meanders all over the place where it's like, they introduce you like this guy and his lions and you're like, oh, that's cool. And then it's like 25 minutes of just like the lions jumping on him. Hey, Tommy, Jimmy. Yeah. <laughs> there, you see some grizzly bears in here fighting the lions. <laughs> I mean, are the tigers, the plot is are still tigers like... and lions even supposed to be together? Nope. No, no, but that's no. what the guy in the boat that's, was complaining yeah. about. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, yeah, no. This, this yeah. I know what's gonna happen here. Meanwhile, the plot's just hanging out here. <laughs> <laughs> the plot's just chilling. We'll yeah. get back to it. In a in a nutshell, it's it's very similar to Hawk Jones. <laughs> In oh god, okay. Oh, 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 oh my god. Okay. Oh, oh, just, 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 oh, just, oh, just stop. Oh my god. god. I mean, if you really want to, yeah, you really think that's in that Just don't read that one. I think we need to have it. No, it's okay. I don't think. No, we got this. We got this. This is the best. I mean, if we can put this in the best. Yeah, we got this. It's okay. It's okay. It's a bigger disaster. Mike, Mike, I got this. I got this. Yeah. What I was saying, in a nutshell. Roar, Roar is similar to Hawk Jones okay. in the fact where it doesn't go one way or the other. Uh, Roar, like, it, it, there's two messages yep. uh, where it's like, oh, the, the, the crazy guy, Noel, uh, Noel Marshall. Marshall, is like, lions are wonderful creatures. They're just cuddly, wonderful creatures. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> That yep. it's horror movie because family shows up at the house and uh, oh my fucking god there's lions and there's a horror sequence that lasts Literally. for like 40 minutes yeah, yeah, yeah. where they're all hiding in like lockers and oh, cabinets shit. and yeah. they're trying to maul them and there are lions of blood all over them <laughs> and it's like okay that's a good horror movie premise. So for this shot we'll just let the lions go fucking nuts inside your house. Is that cool? <laughs> Jesus. Yep. <laughs> and action. That's the plan. <laughs> I like how the lines won't start till he says action. Yeah. <laughs> he says cut, and they all just leave and go to the trailers, <laughs> smoke cigarettes, yeah. and coffee. God bless this crew. I swear to God, that camera department. You mean all seventy of them that were mauled and? Yes. <laughs> Jen the bot like lost half of his fucking skull. I don't even know. Yeah, he got scalped from a uh, uh, nape to uh, to hairline. Yeah. Oh my god! It just won't stop! It just keeps going in! It just won't stop! And yeah. Melanie Griffith uh, had both sides of her face were cut. Were, were cut yeah. uh, and also she, she had one up here, yeah, too. It's she in had her movie. Get, Oh God! I, she's pulling I, on its tail. I watched this on Pornhub the other night. So. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to oh, stop oh, oh, oh. I, th I think like the first act wasn't really set up properly. The first act was supposed to be, oh, like, you know, 
they're dangerous lions, but at the same time, they're kind of cute and cuddly and all yeah. that kind of stuff. Like, yeah, he's like got they, like the teenage guy, well, teenage they, they, lion. They, they, was they, like, they, 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 they roughhouse with each other yeah. and stuff like that. But at the same time, like they can cohabitate with humans. Right. And he gives a little spiel to those little hunter guys. Right. Little, yes. little hunter guys. The, the, little you know. They were like normal sized hunters. They were no. played by children. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> they were played by oh, children. Was. <laughs> Hawk Jones and McAllister show up and they're like, you gotta let these lions go. <laughs> But um, <laughs> but the thing is, they're trying to establish that oh, like you know, they look vicious the way that they play, yeah. but at the same time, like no, they're docile. They're, they're like house cats, right. kind of thing. <laughs> so I think the idea is that when the family shows up, yeah, right. is that they automatically assume right. that they're dangerous. But the movie spent so much time. You're right, because the they movie spent so much correctly. time that first act, yes. showing the line. You know, he would be like giving dialogue and a lion would jump out of nowhere and like tackle him to the ground and it was like, like oh I'm still giving my lines ow ow but, ow uh, they didn't, they didn't, it wasn't fun and cuz the, the audience wasn't in on like oh I guess this guy's safe cuz no one feels safe at any point in that whole movie I just kept thinking of that one scene from Gladiator when the, when you know they have the lions come yeah. out uh, and it's like uh, yeah. uh, it kind of goes like this and it's clearly like like digitally altered yeah. and yes. just kind of swipes at Russell Crowe mm. for like 2 seconds yeah, yeah. it's like oh that's mm. Would you, like, would you like it better if they just suck some lions on, uh, on Russell Crowe? 150 <laughs> of them just keep, keep climbing yeah, out yeah, of yeah, the... Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Melanie Griffith comes Ch out with a sword. Chopper sick balls. <laughs> <laughs> we can't underscore the amount of lions. Like, I think... I don't yeah. think that I... Even no, watching... No, it's like a fucking zombie movie. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> bad. <laughs> That was a pretty bad dummy. That was a dummy. No, it was really Tippy Hedren. <laughs> I wouldn't be shocked. Yeah. It, wouldn't, it wouldn't shock me. They're like, no, it's too dangerous to put you in this barrel. Now go stand with 50 lions. <laughs> 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 we need a stunt double for the barrel oh. gag, though. You could get hurt. Watching the trailer, even, you're like, oh, yeah, there's like, you know, lions there. No, no, no. it's like they it's open the door at one point and it's just like lions and lions and lions and lions and lions. And there, there's a bit of a strange, like, like psychological effect too. Like I think also for the actors involved because, okay, you're 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 in a situation. And there's one lion, right? Right. And it's just roar, it's kind of yeah. But when there's like hundreds of them, it's like something is is switched on in your brain where it's like, oh, they're just like a bunch of dogs or something. Yeah. It's like something. You don't yeah. quite get the danger. Yeah. yeah. Uh, like you have Siegfried and Roy. They worked with their white tigers for like 25 years. Everything's fine. Well, it's like the Malsum. It's like the one time. It's, it's Just, the, that's it. That's bump, all it takes. It's like the Bumford Hounds or whatever it is from the Christmas Story, <laughs> except with you know 500 pound lions. Yes. Look yes. At yes. That. yes. <laughs> Come knock over the Christmas table and eat the turkey. Well, yes. and yeah, like fucking. <laughs> but except, the tur except the turkey is your yeah. daughter and your son and they, your son. They were flirting <laughs> with disaster on such a level. It's amazing. Where it's like they they probably all became accustomed because there's scenes at the end where they're like cuddling and tickling. Yeah. Well, Any moment, let's, let's snap. About, let's lion rips their face off. The family is like crawls across this water bridge into this other shed. Yeah. We're like, oh, we'll be safe here. We just need to sleep. Oh God, we're so fucking tired. And they all crawl in there and go to sleep. And then some lions just come over and also go to sleep with them because... Yeah. No, no. Uh, I saw uh, listen, you hold on, yeah. hold on, hold on. You said some lions. Yeah. It's like all of the lions. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to smother you to this death. Is, she spot. was crushed to death. <laughs> and you're a 700 pound lion. <laughs> <laughs> It's like if you're trying to make Sorry. Nightmare on Elm Street and the premise was Freddy Krueger is your friend. Yes. Right. <laughs> yes. And, and like, that's what Going I'm trying to, to go for. And have a good time. He's, he's just in your dreams. Yeah, and, he's, he's and he's just running around. Yeah, he's got he's, this, he's got he the might claws, scrape his claws yeah. on a couple of but, pipes, but, also, but he loves you. It's because he looks scary that you're afraid of him. Yeah. Yeah. He's yeah. really just there to just play around <laughs> and scrape his exactly. claws. Oh, that's, that's the point. That's the equivalent of Roar. Well, yeah. okay. yeah, Freddy Krueger is your friend. <laughs> We're not scared anymore for no reason. Yeah, we, nothing changed. Because we slept together. <laughs> they all had a great nap together. We discovered that they sleep this sometimes. Is, yeah. This is such a horrible message. <laughs> <laughs> don't, be, don't be afraid of dangerous wild animals. Walk right up to them. This is they by want far to be your friend. the worst of the three movies we watched. <laughs> Says you, buddy. No, this, this is, is the worst? Oh, this is amazing. <laughs> The lions are never given personalities, so you don't ever think that you don't ever feel like there's a narrative to the lion's behavior. 
So all of that other stuff falls apart because you're like, no, they're lions. Sometimes they're going to be hungry. Sometimes they're going to be thirsty. And then if they see you, they might try to eat you. Yeah. They, sure, maybe they're giving you a hug or they get tired of hugging you and they decide to also, bite you. They might, they might just eat a zebra in your living room. And, if, and, 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 short, of, and, short, and short of that, and your luggage. They'll, eat, your they'll fucking eat you. <laughs> they're going to eat your shoes and yeah. get them stuck in their yes. teeth. Yeah. But no, honestly, like, I get what you're saying. And that, and that is for the most part true. We've got Togar. And Togar is like this antagonist he's lion. He's not though, they just poured blood on a lion. Yeah, no, he's a bad guy. Syrup. He never does, that's what I mean, fake blood is on a lion. At no he, point does that lion behave Josh, any differently than the, <laughs> the, at no point is he any worse than the other lion. Yeah, yeah he is, Wait, he attacks, when? What does he, he do? The, 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 the bad hunters that are shooting all the lions, uh -huh. he attacks them. Those so are the, the other lions. The film. No, <laughs> yeah, they're Togar. the heroes. Nobody else does, Togar is hold, the one that Hold on, hold on, hold on. The antagonists of the film, they are the goddamn fucking heroes. They're going, well, what you guys are doing <laughs> is totally dangerous. Uh -huh. What are you trying to prove? That you can have lions socializing with people? Oh, hey, we got trouble. The villain of the film is Noel Marshall. Yes. Sure. Yes. Because yes. yes. he created this situation. Yes. <laughs> I like that the tigers kept jumping on. Anytime there was a boat, the tigers kept trying to climb into the boat, and then the boat they, would tip okay. over. No, that's literally half a ton in the front of your boat. Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, shit, sorry. I think Whoa. I could balance it if I just. Hold on, hold on. Maybe if I pull, this. maybe if I pull it down. <laughs> That tiger is just, I love that, shot. that tiger just looks like, like he's oh, only worried about himself oh, getting wet. He's just like, I don't want this. If there's anything that I can impart to you about that, what I learned from Roar is that tigers love boats. Elephants hate boats. That part was cool too. When that elephant like what? fucked that boat up for no reason. <laughs> You are not to fish. Yes. That is my boat. I'm taking it. I, <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God. Holy crap. I swear to like, God. Excuse me, ma'am. The sign said no. Oh, boating. Jesus. Even the lions are like, whoa. Shit. Holy Fuck shit. that boat up. <laughs> this is fucking exhausting. <laughs> <laughs> Back off, fuckers. It was the rage. I've never seen a, a, yeah. a, an elephant. Like, after he's like destroyed it, there's that one shot where he literally kicks it. He's like, fuck this boat. I've never seen an elephant look angry like that. Oh, what happened? You could tell by the length of the tusks that that was a juvenile. So uh, that, that, that fucker was like, so yeah. He was just like having yeah, it out. He was, he was listening to like Rage Against the Machine. He yeah. was angsty. Well, yeah, uh, in addition to the horror of lions and tigers and, and panthers Jaguars and, and leopards and, and, and every and, other thing yeah. on the, the earth, the docile, gentle, giant elephant also just destroys their boat. They fucking hate says, boats. Get out of our fucking <laughs> land. Yeah. But then also yeah. I hate you. lifts up Tippy Hedron. <laughs> And who's oh, manning just up? Just start shooting! Oh, 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 oh! Just start shooting everything! <laughs> Shit! It's got Tippy! It's got Tippy! <laughs> oh, I don't like it. And does and bre and actually breaks her leg, breaks her in, leg real in real life. What? Yes. Yeah, so in yeah. that scene, you, you, you can her see leg. her when yeah. she goes. Oh! Are, you, yeah. are you kidding? That's no, her leg, that's being, her broken. leg being broken. He wraps his uh, trunk around her leg, and he and it, the trunk squeezed her leg so much that it snapped. Yeah. Are you while they were me? shooting that that's scene. That's in the movie. Yep. But so other other thing being, if terrible things happen in your movie, put them in there. Oh, of course. Yeah. I took a oh, Xanax before watching Did you? Show. I took a half no, a Xanax. Oh, shit. And it didn't help. It wasn't enough. <laughs> yeah, I, I should have taken it, a whole it didn't, like, seem, it didn't Melanie seem like Griffith, it helped. Melanie Griffith is, is having her fucking scalp ripped off by a lion. And she's a pretty, it's in the movie. She's a pretty girl. You, you know, know, like a, a nice looking human being. And you go, oh. And then she was marred. <laughs> and I thought the set of Roar was dangerous. <laughs> One of the dumbest fucking things anybody has ever done. <laughs> well, everyone, it's yes. that it's that magical time of the night when we pick our best of the worst. And well, yeah, I I really I would I would say without a doubt it's roar, but I'm not sure. 
Rich, I know you're going to pick Winter Roar Beast. Roar yeah. is... Winter Beast, right? Roar is irresponsible. It is criminally negligent. And it is the most amazing fucking thing I've ever seen. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, so, so you're picking uh, Hawk Jones? I'm, I'm picking Hawk Jones. <laughs> <laughs> It's it's roar all the way. I was looking forward to it, and it, like I knew a lot about it, and it freaking delivered. Uh, <laughs> you know, it's it's the amazing contrast. The, the amazing contrast in roar is what the filmmakers want you to feel, yeah. contrasted with what you're actually feeling. Oh my god! Oh, oh my god. god! Oh my god! Like that. Do, 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 do. Oh no! Oh, Jesus. oh don't, don't oh, kill his children. Rich, can I ask you this though? Roar utterly failed in its intentions. Sure. Yes, but it doesn't mean it's not amazing to watch. Every ha like every movie we watch on Best of the Worst fails in its intentions. Yeah, that doesn't uh, stop us from liking some of them. This was enthralling. I don't know that the Hawk Jones failed in its intentions. You keep you keep Hawk Jones. I'm gonna take Roar home. Yes, <laughs> I'll Roar. watch Roar again. My pick is Winter Beast. Yeah. All right, Roar, it is. Uh, yeah, I, I'm 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 picking Roar. Yeah. It's 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 so unique. Roar, 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 Winter Beast. Mm, yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> so, gotcha. I'm going on the record, I didn't. And best. See, of, see, here's the thing, though. Best of the worst, right? The best of the worst, like Winter Beast. Really? Roar? <laughs> no, no. Don't, 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 don't try to change his mind. I'm not trying to, because here's what honestly, I'm this made him anxious. Right. Well, no. Roar was the most effective in. in uh, I had the most fun during Winter Beast because I wasn't. Anxious because and we because were just making of, fun of how stupid because it was. Because of this man. Because of that guy, yeah. he gets uh, a lot of credit for yeah. a performance. I love the Groot thing. I like every time they turned, <laughs> the they, every thing. time like a monster would grab a human and then would cut to a claymation human in the monster's hand getting thrown across the room. There was, yeah. there but, was some fun stuff. In but there. Roar, so we laughed a lot. We laughed Roar a lot. Roar looks incredible, also. And, like and Roar is the movie you will talk about. Or think about yes. and and tell yes. people about and, and cry about it's true. and dream and, about and, and, and yes. have and nightmares warn about away from yes. and be like ah, I had to watch this fucked up movie and Macaulay Culkin made me do it for work and it's a work I, I told him I didn't want to and he was like you have to or I'll fire yes. you and when you run into Melanie Griffith you say oh my you're god like, oh your face is so fucked I, up I'm so <laughs> they, no, sorry. Said, they did a wonderful job on your face yeah, yeah they they did. Did. <laughs> those lions did a great job on your face. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. I'd never know you got mauled by fucking lions. <laughs> I, I think, though, we'll end on the note with, uh, if you haven't seen Roar, you need Recommend. to see Roar, but watch it with a group of friends and family. Mm -hmm. There's nothing like it. There's, there's literally nothing will ever be like Roar ever again. Yeah. No? No. And, and nothing yeah. should be like That's true. Yeah, no, don't do that. That's don't true. do this to your kids. It is 100% a completely unique. I was a kid on camera. Don't sick lions on your kid. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you bring us here? We're just going to die. It's cool that Melanie Griffith gets to be like, yeah, when I was a kid, I got attacked by multiple lions on yeah. the movie set. When I was a kid, I was Richie Rich. Like, you know, yeah. it's like, it's like, it's like, you're like, I, I feel I was, yeah, it's a little different. different. I was fake killed by bees once. She's but, like, fuck your bees. <laughs> She's like, you see this? <laughs> Look at my face. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs>